Hey there everyone, this is Danielle checking out Snake Pass, a game that I've recently been told I should play because it's apparently pretty good. Uh, I have the sound back on, I have the TV on minimum volume, uh, I tried using headphones but the only way I could get audio out of the headphones was by unmuting uh, the game capture program and that includes my voice which was way too distracting and it also has a bit of a delay on it so it didn't work very well. So since I've never played this game before, I, I want to hear what it sounds like. So I'm going to have the sound on very quiet. Hopefully that won't pick up too much echo. We'll see how we go. Um, I did a little bit of preliminary testing and it wasn't picking up too much, but it might be worse. We'll see how we go. Uh, anyway, here's the game. Snake Pass. <sighs> Audio is hard. I don't have any headphones that I can hook up to the TV, otherwise I'd try that, but yeah, I don't. Okay, so I guess that's the developers. Cool. I don't know if this is skippable, I'm not really trying. This looks like a loading bar, so it probably isn't skippable. Okay, so it has autosave, that makes sense. Um, ceiling's on the default, it should be fine. Okay, so I have three different save files. Uh, I guess arcade mode was like a bonus or something. I didn't played the game before, so I didn't get to try it out. Uh, we got a snake here, and we got a bird. Got some options. The controls are slightly adjustable. Uh, I don't know if I should be using the easy controls or what, but... I also don't know which way inverted is on the camera, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, this is adjustable too. I guess I'll leave it on TV. Um, let's see how the game goes. Game, game goes. Okay, so it goes straight into this level select by the looks of things. I don't know if there's like a storyline or anything. The menus feel a little unpolished. A little bit rough, but it's probably not a big deal. Okay, so we got a little birdie there. Noodle. Noodle! <laughs> Wake up, Noodle. Okay, so... Oh no, what's wrong? The gate? I don't know what this means. Okay, so I'm playing as a snake here. And I can slither around. I'm pressing ZR to move forward, and I'm just sort of moving the stick to just move myself in different directions. I'm guessing that's like a checkpoint or something. And these are probably good collectibles to get. I move kind of slowly, I don't know if there's a way to speed up or something. up speed by slithering left and right with L. Okay, so yeah, there is a way to get more speed. Lift your head by holding A. That'll help me get up those steps, I assume. Sure does. The controls feel pretty good. Uh, I'm glad there's a tutorial here because they're a little weird, but they do feel good. Oh. Okay, so is that the gate that's been broken? You need to fix the pink part and then it'll work again? Yeah, the key's turn is missing from the gate. Okay, so that's it over there. I didn't think it's a big deal. Like, Bird was really, really panicking, and it's just, 
it's just like this little rock is a little bit away from where it needs to be. It's not a huge problem. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so it looks like there's a certain number of these little orby things in each level, maybe? I guess getting all of them will give us some sort of reward, but I don't know what to expect. Well, I got them all, so let's see if anything happens, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna go up here to get the get the rock. Do we touch it or I don't know? Yep. Okay, so yeah, the bird collected it. So I'm pretty sure they could have done that without waking us up. So that seems a bit silly. <laughs> and yeah, they put it in place as well. So I don't know why they needed our help at all. <laughs> uh, so that'll activate the, this gate in the middle here. I'm guessing that walks us to the next level or something. Yeah, it looks like it. We get everything. We didn't get what those bottom things are. Fantastic! Ah, uh, that's pretty funny. I need to replay the level later to get the bottom things. I don't know what those are. Oh no. Yeah, the gate's probably messed up again. Probably needs us to grab a rock that's very close to it or something. Okay, so this level feels a bit less linear. I don't know if it actually is or if that's just the way it feels, but we'll see. You can gain quite a bit of height by sort of twirling around like this, uh, which is pretty cool. And is how snakes work, so that makes sense. Looks like they're trying to introduce us to a lot of the different things a snake can climb on around the place, which is cool. Uh, make our way up here, make our way up here. There we go. Not sure if I need to be up here or not, but you know, I'm up here now, so whatever. I'm getting into that, so I'm probably not supposed to come up here at all. <laughs> hmm. So yeah, the controls are very strange, but they feel good once you've sort of gotten a bit used to them. So I need to head up here. Around the bamboo to climb- yeah, I already did that a couple of times. Over on these other bits of bamboo to get all the little orby things. Oh, no, snake, no! Okay, there's something there. Ah! Are there limited lives in this game, or will I just always respawn? It looks like it reset everything, so maybe you have to hit a checkpoint to save the orb you've gotten or something. It's a little annoying, but whatever. Ah. Let's look over here first, since I'm probably gonna fall again. Yeah, there's a disc or something down there on that piece of bamboo, so I guess I want to head down there. I'm not sure how to get that yet. I need some practice, probably. Yeah, I'll get these for now and just move on with the normal area for the moment, I guess.
Okay, so we won't climb on this bit of bamboo here. Cool. And then we want to climb on these bits. It seems like it would be easier just to have the bird do everything because the bird can fly and snakes cannot fly. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff getting in the way of the camera here, which is a little bit annoying. Snakey snake snake. Okay, the snake's name is Noodle, which is hilarious because that's what a snake is. A noodle. Um <laughs> some bamboos over here we can coil around if we wish. The snake physics seem pretty good. I mean, I'm not too familiar with real life snakes, I don't know really what they're good at doing, but this seems this seems like what I think snakes are like. So <laughs> Oh no! This gate has all of the keystones missing. And find all three keystones. And bring them back to the gate. Camera is a little not great, honestly. Can I swim? Yes. Whoa. You know, the gameplay is overall fun. So yeah, it looks like each level has a bunch of these little orbs to collect. Which I'm not sure what they do. I'm not sure if actually make the snake longer or if they just look like they do. Yeah. Get a grip with ZL as you wrap around this. Okay. Um, I guess I can do that. I'm not sure what that does. Sure does. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what the grip button actually does that's useful, it's confusing. <laughs> Give me a jemmy thing, I want to. Medallion, more like it's more of a medallion than a gem. I don't know why I call it a gem. I, I guess those are like the extra secret collectibles that are harder to get than the normal ones. Okay, so we wiggle around this way. Whoa. Aha! Um. Oh. Snack, snack, snack. Alright, I was trying to get this orb over here, but I can do that, I guess. It doesn't exactly tell you much about what you're supposed to... 
All right. Uh, oh no. <laughs> I don't understand what pressing ZL does. It makes the controller vibrate some more, but I don't understand what effect it actually has. Yeah, having the birdie lift your tail with the Y button is very helpful. Okay, so that's what those five things are. The five little, little medallions hidden around the level. Mm. As far as I know, there's no fall damage, but I did fall quite far just then, so... Medallions over there, that looks pretty tricky to reach. Let's have a look. Uh, <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff again, aren't I? Yeah, the checkpoint system isn't great. It sort of discourages you from trying to do tricky things, which I think is not a great thing for a checkpoint system to do. Like, compared to the one in, say, Odyssey, where pretty much everything stays done if you die, except keys, and there's only a couple of moons that require keys, and part of the challenge is not dying in the middle of doing it and all that. Whereas here, every collectible resets when you die, which I'm not a fan of. Let's see if I actually understand this this time. No, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand what this all actually does. It's very confusing. <laughs> all five of these are the same, like, it's not a different picture, even though I grabbed a different one. Snack, 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 snack. Sometimes you get just completely stuck for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. <laughs> Snake physics in this game sure are something. <laughs> Yeah, those are all the same. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it seems like the bird should just be doing the work, because the bird can fly. <laughs>
Okay, so I have all the keystones. It's a couple more of the blue blobby what's it I want to get. So let's wiggle over that way. This game has some strange controls, I've got to say. Um... Ah. What if touching the checkpoint again actually saves all the stuff I've done? That'd be useful. But I have no idea if it how it works on it. Okay, um... I think I've got everything that's... Oh, there's one way over there. Uh, that'll do for now, I reckon. I can come back later. We have to watch this cutscene for all three, yes. Is it skippable? No. That's a little annoying. Super slithering. <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting to the idea, kind of. These level pictures look very similar. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be able to tell what they are, because they, they do all look very much the same. But starting to take hold. Okay, so I can tighten my grip by holding down ZL, but I don't know what that means. I get it. I kind of get it. I, it's confusing. Camera's not so great in there. It's kind of super duper close. I'm 
sword again? Maybe? It's, it's, it's confusing. <laughs> I think the grip button sort of locks you in place or something, but I'm not sure. <sighs> Whoa, we better go that way. I love death. didn't go well. I should be using the yeah. easy controls. I don't really know what the difference is though. Can I change it mid game? Yes. Let's see. Oh, I see. You just move forward with the with the stick instead of moving the head. That sounds weird. Seems like I probably want to play with the defaults. The easy ones sound weird. sure what the purpose of the grip actually is. I think it's like it holds the top part in place and you can slither around a bit with the other bits or something, maybe? I'm not sure. Ooh, a tunnel. Let's go in the tunnel. That sounds safe. Yeah, that was safe, it was fun. Catch these in individually rather than all at once, but we're not any faster. Yeah, I spotted this hiding behind the gate. There we go. Noodle's voice kind of reminds me of Spyro in um, Into the Dragonfly, not in the previous games. It's rather a different voice in that game. Controls are weird. <laughs> I think I'm sort of getting used to them. Slowly. Oh, that medallion is super easy to get, it's just right there. Compared to some of the others, that's super 
super easy to reach and not die or anything. <laughs> hmm. Weird. I don't, I don't understand how grip is supposed to work. It's very confusing. Anyway, that's most of the treasure gotten, so let's head over to the gate and activate it. Anyway, you get the idea. It's it's a physics-y puzzle platformer sort of deal. Um, with controls that, while they make sense for the character, are very weird. Yeah, I did. Um... Again, yeah, it looks just basically the same picture with a little bit added on the top. I don't know why they're doing it like that, it's weird. Uh. Maybe I'll try a level with the easy controls and see if that's, like, more understandable. I assume you're not really supposed to play that way because it's got you know, the easy controls and then the default controls, but let's give it a look. Alright, so with these controls, you can just move around by pushing the stick forward without having to press a button. Uh... <laughs> Which I suppose is easier to understand. You don't have to press the slither forward button. You can just push the stick forward and go. Which is, which is a bit simpler. Um... However, otherwise the gameplay is pretty much the same, I think. So I'm not sure why they have the two different modes like that. Hmm. Seems like just having the one slithering mode would have worked fine, so I don't know. Whoa, that's scary. <laughs> mm -hmm. so yeah, um, rather than pressing ZR, you just push the stick forward for this mode, which is definitely easier to understand. Um, I imagine for some of the more advanced climbing and stuff, you'd want to be able to press the go button rather than having to tilt the stick in a certain direction to go forward. I, I don't know if it, that makes sense. Hmm. Also, yeah, the checkpointing system is not good. Um, well, I'm just gonna keep going through this level for a bit more while I give my thoughts, I reckon.
Uh, so far this game is super duper cute. Uh, I like the concept. I think the controls are a little trickier than they probably needed to be. To, to grok, like, I'm using the easy controls here and it's still about the same level of trickiness. Um, I'm still not really sure what pressing grip actually does. Uh, I feel like they could have put some more explanation into that, maybe like a... Like a video demo or something, showing, you know, an, another snake doing grips and here's how, what that effect that has. Um, would have made it maybe a bit easier to understand. Um, let's check one here. Um, the aesthetic is, is great, I really like it. I feel like it could be slightly higher res. Uh, it feels like a little of the edges are a bit rough. Uh, that could be a system limitation though, um, which isn't something I can really blame the developers for because it's just the console having that problem. Uh, as far as I know, yeah, there's no motion control at all, so that's that's kind of good because motion control has problems. Uh, the camera could work a little bit better as well. It often gets seems to get stuck on things, and you have to pretty much turn it manually when you want to go somewhere. That you're not looking. Which sort of makes sense because it's not always clear which way you want to go based on where you move because you have to slither around and stuff but I feel like the camera could have been better especially in small spaces where it zooms in and you can barely see anything properly. Um, um, I definitely think collecting things should be less annoying like in terms of checkpointing. Uh, I know that in some some of it, getting it and then getting back out is part of the challenge, so they could do it kind of like Celeste Strawberries, where, you know, you get one and then you have to touch the ground before you can collect it. Um, they could have done something similar to that, and then once you've done that, it just is collected regardless of whether you die afterwards or not. Uh, which would be a lot better than the way it works right now, where it basically resets everything since the last checkpoint. Um... I feel like maybe some UI would help to like give you some hints about how the snake is moving, maybe just in the early levels. Uh, rather than just, you know, having a snake to look at, it could give you like acceleration information and, and where you're gripping could be colour coded or something. Uh, just to make it a little clearer what you're doing at any given time and help you do the right stuff. Um, I feel like the level progression system is a little eh as well. I mean, it's okay, but you know you know how I am. I like big open worlds, and I think this kind of character in a big open world would work really well. Oh, hello. Uh, I think pressing the R button, yeah, that zooms you out a bit. I don't know if that helps everywhere or just in certain places, but you know, it's good. Yeah, I should be able to just slither this straight across here, right? Something like that, maybe. It looks like you can mostly get around the trickier parts when you're just going through the level just by basically going up the wall instead of trying to climb on stuff. Um, I imagine that wouldn't work for the more advanced uh, collectibles and stuff. I also, you can mess with your character's face like this, which is pretty cute. This is pressing the D-pad. Mm, big mouth. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much my thoughts. Um, I, I think I would recommend this game, but I think it's got a bit of a learning curve, and I think they could have probably done that a bit better, explaining what the different buttons are doing and how you might use them in a situation. Rather than just, you know, saying, use ZL to grip, or whatever it was it said, it could, you know, demonstrate the usefulness of ZL grip by showing you a little video and showing when the character is gripping and what it does, stuff like that. Because I don't really understand it. Um, that aside, this, this is a very nice game uh, visually and the gameplay is clever. Uh, it's, it, it's a good concept and the characters are very cute. Uh, I can just sort of hear the audio and it sounds fine. It's not like super amazing best soundtrack ever, but it, it suits the levels well and um, and I, I think they've done a good job choosing it, I guess. 
Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, as you can say, this is... Uh, I'm trying to use the grip here to try to get myself up, but I don't really understand what effect it has. Uh, which is why it's confusing. Um, whereas a game like Celeste, um, it's a lot clearer what, what effect things are having. Granted, that's a 2D game, so it's a bit easier to express that sort of thing, but... If I recall correctly, it basically didn't explain anything. You just had to play the game and be like, Oh, okay, this is how this works. In a, in a very simple way. Um, whereas this is a game that I think requires a bit more explanation than it provides. Uh... <sighs> so yeah, that's, um, that's Snake Pass. Look at those big eyes. Uh, snakes don't actually have eyes like that. Their eyes are sort of slit-shaped rather than being big and round, so this is unrealistic, and therefore this game is terrible. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gave you an idea of what the game's like. Uh, tapping the L button locks the camera behind the snake, or at least moves it. It doesn't actually lock, as far as I can tell. So, uh, that's handy. But yeah, the camera is otherwise not very automatic, and I kind of wish it were. It'd be a bit... Uh, because this game sort of demands that you're pressing the A button a lot to make your head go up while you're climbing stuff, and so you can't reach the other controls, and... Yeah, it's, it's, it, it, it's not fantastic camera-wise. There's some problems there. Um, they might patch that? Uh, I think they're doing updates to this. Because one did pop up when I started the game, but that might have been a bit old. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the, the game is a cute idea, the physics are good, the visuals are pretty good. Uh, they're a little lower res than I think the Switch is capable of, but I could be wrong. Um, the, like, art design is really nice. Uh, cute snake, cute bird. Snake's name is Noodle, which is amazing. Uh, the controls, again, they're, they're very confusing. Uh, and I think the game doesn't do a good job of teaching them, but I think they're probably quite good. I'm just having trouble learning them. Uh, there's no point in doing that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, something in here. Aha! <laughs> So yeah, um, there's a lot of collectibles in each level by the looks of things, and a lot of them are based around doing harder strategies, so this game is probably quite approachable, like, for less good players, such as myself, but also for, like, as an experienced player, there's a lot of, like, replay value in doing the harder challenges, I would think. Um, so that's good. Um, overall, I like this, and I would probably recommend it. Uh, I just think you need to devote some time to learning the controls, because I'm still not really sure what I'm doing, and I've been playing for, like, 40 minutes. Uh... So, yeah. <sighs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. <sighs> and, yeah, that's it. That's Snake Pass. A video game. It's also available on, like, all the other platforms. I think it's on Steam and all the consoles, so if you don't have a Switch, you can still play this. It is available everywhere, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, you know, that's something you can enjoy if you wish. And, yeah. The end.